Live from the rinks, it's the 2022. My apologies. Live from the rinks, it's the 2024 SCHSHL Freshman Finals. Jack Ziskin with you on the Long Island Sports Network. We're just about set here for the playing of our very own national anthem. And when we come back, we'll be set for puck drop here at the rinks in Hopog, New York. our very own national anthem here at the rinks as we get set for game one of the best of three series between the Sachem Warriors and the East Islip Chiefs. Once again, Jack Ziskin with you, Paul Trentini on camera for the Long Island Sports Network. Very excited for tonight's action. Coming in to the matchup. East Islip being led by Jack Fontaine. Four goals in the postseason. Also leads him in points, but on the other side, Sachem's stars from the regular season are back at it. Dylan Simone with seven points. Will Trapani with six, including five goals. Trapani had a hat trick in Sachem's 8-3 win over the Middle Country Cougars. The game was tied at three. Entering the third period, Trapani netted the hat trick for Sachem on the other side. East Islip coming off a 6-4 win against Smithtown Hawpaw Bulls. They trailed 4-2 entering the third period. Jack Fontaine having scored twice. But EI put up four unanswered, four different players scoring. And so we have tonight's matchup. Should be a fun one here. Starting goaltenders, Joe Volante for Sachem. On the other side for EI. It's going to be Travis Martin. Faceoff was won by Sachem. They chipped it in. EI going D to D down low. Up the wall, not out of the zone. A turnover forced. Coming in. Pass comes to Ilk. Towards the slot for Perry, glancing off him. A shot turned aside, another shot. And two early saves here for Martin. Another one sent towards the front, got caught in the feet. And now EI pressing the other way. Goes for the feet of Andrew Lemaire, excuse me. EI got the zone exit. They dumped it into Sagem territory. And now heading the other way, Zach Hess enters and ends up turning it over. Simone enters. One on four under pressure from Musa Mechi. Forcing the turnover, carrying it beneath his own goal line. EI in black and red. Sageman white, gray and gold. Veneta forcing a turnover. Spinning along the half wall. Ends up losing it. Cole Calber can't hold the line, but we get a whistle here. 
with 13.47 remaining. Two early shots for Sachem, the start they wanted. Faceoff comes all the way back into the East Isaac zone. Mineta won the draw back. EI gets the clear, but the puck comes to Cole Calber. A turnover is forced. EI enters two on one back checker. And then a pass across center. It's broken up, carried up ice by Jack Mitchell's, Mitchell. The Sachem defenseman scored a breakaway goal in the Warriors' victory over the Cougars on Wednesday night. EI getting a clear out of their own zone. This time it was Akroff. And Trapani resets, trying to stretch the ice. Simone gets a stick on it, taps it in. The puck comes to Matt Friesen. Going D to D, wanted Sean Damien. Puck comes out of the zone, and my mistake, that was actually eight cross there. 46, not 55. Turnover forced in Sachem territory. Roman Cruz pressing up ice, drags, holds up, fires, scores! Sachem strikes first. Roman Cruz, his first of the postseason. Beautiful shot, walking in, dragging. With that toe drag in move. And Sachem leads. 1-0, my apologies, looks like. Ended up putting the shots up for the score. So my mistake, it's 1-0 Sachem currently. They have three shots on goal. A breakaway now, Cruz enters. Drags, has it poked away, and it's paddled away. Into the corner again. This time it's snagged. My, looks like that found the back of the net too, slipping by the glove of the netminder. See that opening shot turned aside. Another one comes across and just slips by. Martin, two goals. For Sachem. EI stunned. Roman Cruz back to back goals. It's 2 0. Cruz has it again, looking to complete the natural hat trick. Slap shot paddled aside. His first goal was unassisted. His second, just 17 seconds later, assisted by Anthony Portanova. Ports, as they call him in Sachem dressing room. Mitchell under pressure in the corner. EI looking to force a turnover. Comes free, but it's poked away. A good play against Ryan Bradley. Puck comes up, but not out of the zone. Second effort. Trapani taken down on an open ice hit. Arms stay down, and now Tigliano enters. Backhands it into the corner, goes for the change. EI down, 2 nothing here. Sachem with five shots on goal. Simone towards the back door. Trapani has the stick tied up. A good defensive play. And now EI Schlitt ahead. Racing in. It's Jack Fontaine. Drags. Pulls up. Fires. Over. Might have glanced off the net miner there. We'll take another look at that. At the next whistle. Becker forcing a turnover in neutral. Firing it in. Foreman. Paladino up the wall. And looks like it was delayed offside, but Sachem carries it out of the zone, ahead for Simone, dumps it in. Gandolfo will chase. Back in the corner, Simone. For Gandolfo to Mitchell at the point, holding it in. Slips past Gandolfo, Simone towards the front, comes all the way out to the point, walking in, shot from Cruz, is blocked. A turnover now and a chance for Becker. Pushing up ice, looking to put EI on the board. Drags across, backhand shot, turned aside. And another stop for Volante. EI looking to will their way back into this game after giving up two quick goals. But an icing by the Chiefs. Looks like that one's waved off as Veef sends it towards the wall. Chiefs looking for a clear, they get it. But the puck comes to Paladino. Cross ice feed for Loeb. Slips past his stick, EI chipping up the board. Sachem gets it right back. And ahead for Simone, who dumps in, goes for the change. Loeb will chase. Beef with possession. Up the wall, Musumeci enters the zone, lost sight of it. Paladino picks it up. Slides it across. A penalty now against EI. 
coming at the 10 minute mark. Musumeci to the box. As we take a look at this replay. It'll be a power play for Sachem, and you're gonna see it here. Dragging through, backhand shot. Looks like Lanty got a piece of that. He stopped both shots he's faced early on in the opening period. Sachem on the power play, they lead to nothing. The call on the ice against Musumeci for roughing. Simone, Cruz, and Trapani up front. Sachem wins the draw. Pressured by Akeroff, but Trapani sets up shop along the half wall. Pass deflected, comes out to the point, it's lost. A chance now in transition. If they can win the race, Trapani rescues it. The cross for Palladino to Cruz. Tries to slide it over. Ends up recollecting it, kicking it to his stick, and ends up with Foreman. Pulls up on the left point. Dumps it in that time. Simone beneath the goal line, off the half wall. Colin Inga battled with Foreman. Station defender holding it in initially. Palladino supported, backhanded it in. EI gets the clear all the way down off the stick of Andrew Lemaire. Sachem has to reset, 9-12 remaining. And now, 50 seconds on the power play. Expired, first deflecting a pass from Horman. Recovered by Sachem, but another turnover, this one at the line. And EI sends it back down towards Mitchell. It's batted away, a chance, open ice. Volante comes out of his crease, sends it towards the slot, it's deflected. 50 seconds remaining on the Sachin power play. Trapani in beneath his own goal line. Sachin moving left to right, this period EI, right to left. Trapani with it enters to the slot. A shot, Cruz completes the natural hat trick. A power play goal, apologies. It appears that our power play clock was frozen that time, but nonetheless, on Sachem's sixth shot of the game, they find the back of the net yet again. Trapani to Cruz in the slot, a picture-perfect shot. <laughs> Cruz's goal assisted by Trapani. It's a natural hat trick. He had zero goals coming into today. But now, in this contest, he's got three. Sachem with possession, Mitchell's pass deflected, intended for Hess. And now, dumped into the EI zone. Chiefs looking to recover, pass comes up the wall. Sachem has possession, Hess carrying it into his own zone, puts it back up the wall. A hit in neutral by Gonzalez, but Sachem pushing ahead. Rutigliano, the outside, shot off the back of the net, recollected by EI, ahead for Fontaine. And a whistle. Just that quick little turn over here. Comes out of the zone, fired back in. We get the offsides, and Sachem really trying to pepper the netminder here. Looks like, initially thought that was offsides, trying to see if they counted that. Joe Sasso replacing Travis Martin. Score remains at three nothing after the faceoff came to center, at least on the board here. We'll double check that with you as EI enters. D to DEI pressing, shot blocked by Calber. Face off came to center after the offside. Sachem now re enters, pulls up a turnover. EI recovers. Sachem regrouping in neutral. Now entering a shot that's blocked in the slot. EI trails by three as it comes out to the play. Horman's shot is blocked before it can reach the net. Another shot on goal. Sasso gets a feel for the puck. EI hemmed in their own zone, looking for a clear. 
comes out. Sachin will reset. Wholesale change for EI. Now a turnover, a chance for EI that goes over the net. Another turnover, this time forced by Becker. Let's chip back in. Sachin resetting, Cruz pushing it ahead, poked away. A strong defensive play, and now EI resetting. It was Sean Daney in that time, forced to poke check. Becker chasing. Cruz knocking it free in the corner, comes out to Lemaire. Walks in, drags, pulls up, shot blocked. Comes to the right wing half wall, Firth. Clapper is redirected, ramping off a stick it into the air. We get a stoppage here. It's a three score game, 548 remaining. Face off coming in the Sachem offensive zone. A welcome change for EI's. Just a turnover in the slot and the shot sails over the net. Golden opportunity. And the type of play EI is going to have to make to will their way back into this game. Fontaine winning it back, but bouncing on it was Mineta. EI's another poke check from Damian and now a shot from Schlitt that's blocked. Comes back out to the point as Sachem poked it away from the slot. Simone across for Trapani. Enters, poked away. Ends up being pushed forward as it deflected off Trapani, who throws a hit in the corner, knocks it free, tried to send it towards the front first time. And we get a whistle here. Another shot for Sachem. Trying to test Sasso early after a goaltending change. For EI. A natural hat trick. For Roman Cruz, the first unassisted, 12.54 mark of the first period. Then again, 17 seconds later, it, excuse me, again 17 seconds later, this time assisted by Anthony Portanova. Nope, 8.34 remaining. Four minutes after Sachem took the lead, Cruz completes the natural hat trick. Will Trapani finding him in the slot on a three on two? off, one back. Trapani tries to drag forward. A turnover is forced. EI recovers. It's outletted for Schlitt, who carries ahead into the zone. Drags, moving right to left. It's poked away on the back check by Trapani. EI a turnover, sent towards the front. Ends up losing the blue paint back towards the back door. Shot, turned aside, a big save for Violante. Another turnover, but this time, Sachem gets the clear. EI resetting in neutral. Off Mitchell's skate, he recollects it. Ends up sliding it past the four checker. EI regrouping, they're back on sides. Sachem with possession, a turnover force this time by Schlitt. It's recovered, Buck moves up ice, Trapani. Two on two, wants Simone in the slot, can't find him. A shot from Rutigliano deflected off the stick of Musa Mechi, it went wide. But Rutigliano recollecting. It's sent towards Simone by Trapani, who curls, resets back towards Rutigliano, whose shot goes wide. Picked up by Musumeci, who exits the zone, slides it across for Schlitt, who turns and dumps it in. Musumeci on the forecheck, wins the race, but left the puck behind. Cole Calber ahead for Zach Hess, who chips it out of the zone. EI recollects. It's dumped in this time by Matt Friesen. Or Friesen. My apologies. Buck now comes out of the zone. EI has to reset. Harrison ahead. Off the wall. Sachem going D to D. Calmer across that time. And now it comes to Hess from Paladino. Dangling through. Carrying it into the corner. Tied up. 337 remaining. Sachem. Three straight goals leading to a goaltending change. to Perry holding it at the line. Portanova on the forecheck. It comes all the way out of the zone. It's going to be icing. We get a whistle here. 319 remaining.
Face off, pushed forward by Lusamechi. Off the wall, racing in, a chance, a one on 0 shot. They score! A big goal for EI. They get on the board, courtesy of Jordan Haynes. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that's 26, yes. Just racing in after Musumeci, puts it out of the zone. And we get a whistle here. Face off will come to center. 3.09 remaining. Haynes from Musumeci, 26 from 18. It's a 3-1 game, 3.09 remaining. Musumeci back. Comes to Haynes now. But a turnover forced by Cruz. Rutigliano collects after EI nearly got it back. And both teams volleying for possession. Now it's chipped out of the zone. Ahead, it's Musumeci against Horman, who throws it to the weak side wall. Cruz taps it ahead. Rutigliano enters. There's a penalty going against Sachem. I believe it's going to be a penalty going against Sachem. 247 now remaining. Officials pointing to Cruz, who will head to the box. He scored the first three goals in the game, but now EI gets a power play, a chance to settle things down. Following this roughing call, they trailed 3-1. Face-off is one back. Pushing forward and a turnover. Station gets their first clear of this new power play. Shots on goal, nine to five in favor of Sachem. Spontane regrouping, carried it across his own slot, leading to a turnover. Simone fishes it out, moves it to Mitchell who pinches in. Shot, blocked, loose in the slot, backhanded ahead. A second chance for Jack Mitchell. Shot, this time gloved, and we get a whistle, not the start to the power play that EI was looking for. Pushed forward off the draw by Fontaine. Mitchell throws it back into the zone. Mineta on the four check, battling against Damian. Backhanded up the wall, another turnover. Shot from the point, it's gloved but not grasped. Comes up and out, past the stick of Firth. Mitchell got a piece of it. Firth nearly got the rest of it. Mineta recollecting, Sachem resetting. They've killed off. A minute of this power play. Puck comes off the zone, deflecting off the stick of Lemaire. Now Mineta towards Mitchell. It's rolling, goes off his skate, recollects it. Gets it out of the zone, but a turnover is forced by Bradley, who soccers it ahead. Sachem resetting, ramps off a stick, remains in play. Lemaire coming across center and dumping that one in. Mitchell, again, looking for a clear. Lemaire gets his boot on it. Kick to the front, along the wall. Sachem gets it out. Mineta dancing free. Carries it into the zone, holding it, and fires a shot from an off angle, turned aside. The rebound recovered by EI. 105 remaining in the period. And as they cross the red line, Firth tries to dump it in. Foreman nearly gets it out. Under a minute remaining now, 10 seconds on the power play. Cole Calber tries to throw it past Firth, turnover, carry to the slot, another shot, and it's turned aside. We return to even strength, 45 seconds remaining. Sachem hemmed in their own zone. Lemaire holding at the line, but Simone pushes it three. Now a three on one. Two, turn two on one to the back door, and they score! Who else but Roman Cruz? His fourth of the game, it's 4-1. It's Roman Cruz's world. We're just living in it. It's the first goal allowed by Sasso. The fourth goal scored by Roman Cruz. 
He had yet to score entering this game. He now has four. And as Simone is taken down, a penalty going against EI. It's going to be Schlitt, if I'm not mistaken. Cruz carrying it in, fires it, turned aside, rebound. And they would have scored, but it was blown dead. Officials deeming possession that time. And Eighteen seconds remaining. Cruz's last goal assisted by Mendetta and Calber. Penalty going against Schlitt. The call, two minutes for tripping. So a power play heading Sachem's way. 18 seconds remaining in the period. If Sachem doesn't score, they will be back on the power play in the second stanza. They've controlled possession despite not having their captain, Matt Lengel Jr., in the lineup. Foreman under pressure. Inga towards center. Intercepted. Trapani ahead. Simone drops it off. Trapani. And that'll do it for this first period. It was all about EI. Or correction, it's all about Sachin. My apologies. Slipping up there a little bit. It was a long road to get here for both squads. Sachem defeating Middle Country in the semifinals. Just after defeating West Islip, they actually opened their season with a 3-2 win against, my mistake, I believe that was, they opened their season with a 3-2 win against Pat Med. They didn't look back as they won Eleven consecutive games before Smithtown Hawpaw took them down. They haven't lost again since. <laughs> Apologies as I just make a couple corrections. Had an issue with my computer for a moment. Just not the broadcast, just my notes. So my apologies. Going back to pen and paper after this game, let's just say that, we'll call it a day. In the regular season, it was Will Trapani who led Sachem in scoring in the playoffs. It's been Dylan Simone in terms of total points, and as we take a look at the stats, in this freshman division, Trapani and Gerard both tied in total points with 75 throughout all contests in the playoffs. However, it's been Simone pasting all skaters with seven points and we take a look at the regular season. As the ensuing face off at center is one back, carrying it up center, splitting to the four checkers, it was Horman. Puck comes out of the zone. Trapani forced to reset, looks D to D. Trapani was leading all scores in the regular season with 71 points finished with 47 goals, the highest mark in the league. But now Roman Cruz entering, drags, separated from the puck. Momentarily by Fries, his pass comes out. Mitchell fires a shot, it's gloved. 14-27 remaining in the period. 1-10 on the power play. 50 seconds have elapsed between the end of the second or the end of the first and the beginning of the second. Off the draw, Cruz with possession. Both players barring for it. Arms stay down. We play on as EI sends it down the ice. Trapani under pressure from Firth. Foreman will race up ice. Enters the zone, fires, and it turn, it's turned aside yet again by the netminder. Two shots here earlier on for Sachin Horman now. Another try, turned aside again. Sasso's made 10 saves on 11 shots. He's already had to make three here in the, in the second period. Well, on the half wall, Trapani. EI now gets it up, but not out of the zone. 
a bad bounce going off the skate of Inga who battles to recollect it. But Cruz collects, drags, loses it in the slot. EI looking for a clear, they'll get it. And now racing after it, Inga again. Ball on the outside, his shot goes wide. Power play has expired, play is returned to five on five. Trapani ahead now, trying to dangle, hands it off to Cruz, across for Trapani, can't connect on the pass. At the line, Calber holds it in, it's blocked in the slot. Trapani poking at it, pushed forward, comes to Becker, out of the zone. Paladino back in for Becker. And it's sent the length of the ice. We'll get a whistle here. An offensive zone draw for Sachem. It's a long change for both squads this period. Sachem starting on the power play. Firing three quick ones. They lead 4-1. Hess up front. In the draw, but it's one forward. Carried out of the zone by Bradley, who lost it, and we get a whistle here for offsides. That little poke check the line. Throw everything, throwing everything off for EI. They weren't able to enter cleanly. Face off. Comes just outside the Sagem zone, near side. Fontaine against Hess. One back to Perry, tries to move the Krush, ends up with Belanti, who paddles that one into the corner. Recollected by Sachin, but a turnover, a shot from the point turned aside by Belanti. Hess looking to escort it to safety. Chipped it ahead. Tigliano just past the reach of the Perry. Bradley backhands it towards center. Jackson Krush picks it up. Head mans it to Tigliano. Poked free by Bradley. Fontaine now in a race against Foreman. Ends up pulling it across, sends it towards the slot. No one home, but a turnover, a shot. It's blocked. Recollected by Fontaine. Hess intercepts. Ahead for Ritigliano, who enters the zone to the outside. Takes a couple whacks from Damian. He sends it, looks like it deflected off of the defender on net, so another save. For Sasso, Mitchell recovered it in neutral, re-entered. Now pushing forward Hess ahead. And another key poke check from the EI defense. Sent towards the slot, a turnover was forced. Sachin forced to recover. Minetta re-enters. Tried to drag it across, but it was poked free. And now Sachin. Turns it over, Fontaine coming in one-on-one. -on -one. A shot that's deflected, ramping off the stick of Mitchell and out of play, and with 11-0-1 remaining, an offensive zone draw for EI. Moving left to right, this period of the long change, Sachem, correction, Sachem moving left to right, EI moving right to left. It's a 4-1 game. All courtesy of Roman Cruz. Comes out to the point. Friesen's shot is blocked. Portanova leaves it for Cruz. Dancing in. Lost it momentarily. Gets it back. A shot that's turned aside. Recovered beneath the goal line. It's cleared from the slot. After another off-angle shot. Racing ahead. Musumeci ahead. Turned aside. Volanti comes up clutch. And wanted to show you that last replay in the EI slot. We're going to see it here. Cruz coming ahead, backhanding it. And we're going to get to the save after this one. It looks like it slipped under the pad. If Sasso was cleared out, we get that opportunity heading the other way. Tied up off the draw, comes to Horman. Carrying it towards the left wing, cuts back towards center. His shot is blocked. Stays on the four check, recovering it. Still battling for it. Cordanova holds it in. Into the corner for Gandolfo. Nicknamed Gando by teammates. It's out to the point. Corman holds it in. 
Yai goes D to D. Looking for a clear now, but Gandolfo breaks that up initially. EI still looking for it. Musumeci out, gets it out of the zone, past Trapani. Foreman recollects, trying to outlet it for Cruz. Recovered by Friesen. Shifted ahead, it ends up with Sachem's Will Trapani. To Horman. Pass deflected, but Cruz ends up entering the zone with Simone. Broken up in the slot. EI, a turnover in transition. They haven't been able to generate clear zone exits. That one looks like it was deflected as it entered the EI zone, so no icing on the play. Sachem forcing a turnover to the slot. Nearly found Simone, couldn't connect. A good deflection, and now a chance for Becker. Heading the other way, three on two. Across, shot, and they score! A big play for EI. And after giving up three unanswered, they now trail four to two. A beautiful cross ice feed from Becker, who's been all around it. We get the stoppage with 9.06. We have a game. You're watching the SCHSHL freshman finals. Jack Siskin with you on the Long Island Sports Network is. EI currently trails 4-2. Roman Cruz with all four Sachem goals. But that last one, courtesy Dylan Schlitt from Liam Becker and Andrew Hurt. Sachem looking to answer back the other way. Simone has possession in the right wing corner. But it's forced free. Schlitt moves it ahead. Hurt will enter. Pulls up, fires. It's glove but not grasp. Another stop for Volante. Heading up ice now, Mineta looking to split the defense. Taken off of it, gets it back, can't get it on net, misfiring there. EI recovers, now looking for a clear. Firth wanted Haynes would slip behind the defense. That play was broken up, a nice job on the other side by Will Gonzalez, but now another turnover and another chance for Sachem. Haynes steers it away from Simone, banks it off the wall. Palladino sends it back ahead, EI cross ice look, goes all the way down. We get it icing, 7.45 remaining. So after Roman Cruz opens the scoring, with 12.54 remaining in the first period, he scores again, 17 seconds later, and four minutes after the initial goal, 8.34, it was 3-0 Sachem. A goaltending change for EI. They start to find their footing. Jordan Haynes scoring with 3.09 remaining in the first period. But Roman Cruz again with 33 seconds left. It was 4-1 after one, but EI with a lone goal this period, despite Sachem controlling the puck for the majority of the frame. EI ahead now, a chance for Haynes as it rolls towards the hash marks, trying to drag it across a big defensive stop. Good poke check by Krush, but a turnover along the wall, carried in by Bradley. Separated by Horman, but EI maintains possession. A pass towards the slot for Fontaine is broken up. Lemaire holding it in at the point. Hess supporting, forcing a turnover. Looks to carry it back into his own zone. Versing it to the weak side for Horman. Sends it back into the opposite corner. Turnover, Fontaine to the front, a chance, a shot off the bar after it's stopped by Volante. Puck now comes out of the zone. A chance for DePerry entering. Flips it up and over the net. Careening off the wall. Now ahead, once again, Fontaine for Bradley, who got a piece of it. Enters the zone, but Horman ends up finding a better angle. Comes away with it. And moves it across, a battle along the half ball. Fontaine forcing a turnover. Can't find Bradley, an off-angle shot, a second attempt. Both turned aside, sent towards the front. It pops out, sat there for a moment. Rutigliano gets the clear. Damian re-enters, but he enters off sides, and we get a stoppage here with 6.16 remaining. Oh, 
Shots on goal, 21 to 13 in favor of Sachem, but after out shooting EI, 14 to five in the first period. The gap has tightened and Calber with a shot blocked there. Key part of why Sachem's had so much success. Just able to block those shots, get in the passing lanes, forcing turnovers in both regards, but now a chance two on one, Sachem entering. Firing, blocker to side, punched out in the slot. It's loose, it's covered. A big shot. A golden opportunity for Sachem with a nice two on one. Play, play the pass well there, good defensive play. They take the shot, it's punched out, then covered. And Textbook two on one defense, playing the passer, letting the goalie get set and square up to the shooter. And EI survives, an odd man rush by Sachem. Attempted clear, Halber held it in, Cruz pushing towards the slot, but a turnover was forced. Now Mitchell chips it back into late off sides. Ahead, pass skipping the stick of Becker from Friesen, so we'll head all the way back down. It's icing, 527 remaining. Face off one back. Fries him to the weak side. Schlitt racing after Portanova, charging ahead, forcing a turnover. Comes back to the point. Calber with the keep. And sent the rest of the way by Portanova. Fries him to Ozima. Turnover for Simone. Carries in. Shot redirected off the stick of the defender. A big clutch save from the netminder as the shot changed angles on Sasso. Yai hemmed in their own zone, looking for a clear and icing. Their best attempt to leave it is Trapani. Gets a whack at that one. Sagem towards the slot, a turnover, a chance they score! Will Trapani, the first Sachem goal scorer, not named Roman Cruz, to find the back of the net with his sixth of the postseason. And just a turnover in the slot after his initial shot was turned aside. It's a big goal for Sachem. They now lead five to two. Entering off the draw, it's Bradley. To the outside shot, punched out off the blocker of Volante that time. Outlet to Gandolfo, just past his reach, and now EI forcing a turnover. Bradley enters to the outside, wants to pass to the back door, can't find it, continues to circle. Cross ice feed deflected, Damian holds it in on net, it's turned aside, then covered by Volante. Fontaine tried to win it forward. Sachem sends it glancing off the glass. A shot from the point. It's redirected. Doesn't make it to the net, but Enga recovers the loose puck in the corner. Bradley has it swept away from him. Then a turnover. Zinga tried to center. Rutigliano carrying to the right wing. To the outside with possession. Curling in the corner. Wants Hess. Can't find him. Bradley forces a turnover. Can't collect it. So he tried to move to Fontaine. Pass was behind him. Recovered by EI, they get the clear again, but another turnover, both teams volleying it back and forth, unable to settle it. EI still looking for a clear, this time they get it, racing ahead, Fontaine is a two on one, moves it to Bradley at center, but Cruz on the back check, forcing a turnover, a big defensive stop from the four goal scorer, a turnover now, a chance for EI, delayed penalty coming. As Sachin looks to touch up, they can't. Mitchell eventually gets a stick on it. 
3.13 remaining in the period. It's a 5-2 game. But after Cruz scored three unanswered, Jordan Haynes finding the back of net from Landon Musumeci. Roman Cruz answering right back from Benny Mineta and Cole Calber. And Dylan Schlitt from Liam Becker, Andrew Firth for EI. Will Chapani from Dylan Simone and Anthony Portanova, the goal scorers in the second period. It's a power play now, the second penalty that's gone against Roman Cruz. The call on the ice is for roughing. Yet again, off the draw, a chance that was a chance from the slot. The shot was blocked, and now Sachem flipping it up and out that time. That was Jackson Krush. Sasso came out to settle it. EI regrouping. Fontaine ahead for Bradley. Try slip behind the defense. Got a piece of it. Mitchell has the angle. Bradley knocks him off the puck. Wedged out by Mitchell, who forced a turnover. Flipped it up and out of the zone. It went off the stick of Damien and starts rolling towards the goal line. EI regrouping a rolling pass through center. A chance now for Bradley, who had it behind him. Enters across for Musa Mechi, but the pass skipped in the slot. Couldn't get a clean saucer pass there under pressure. Now ahead, Damien walks in. Shot is blocked. A turnover. Now Simone. Chips it out of the zone. Under a minute remaining on the power play, 2.07 in the period. Carrying it right to left that time. Musumeci wheels up ice. His man's taken down. That was Simone. Who ends up playing it to Trapani from his knees, and then EI recovers. Bradley enters. A drop pass to no one. Trapani says, Thank you very much. Simone moved it towards center, lost it. Horman recovers. Clapper over the net. Caroming off the wall, it's covered. We get a whistle here. 141 remaining, 28 seconds on the power play. A defensive zone draw for EI. Roman Cruz, the story of this game for Sachem. For EI, trying to climb out of a three-goal hole. Haynes comes in, dragging. The toe drag is poked away, and that's really been the story here for Sachem. They've been able to keep EI's skilled players from creating clean looks. And as Trapani enters, a shot, he scores! Will Trapani, Roman Cruz has four, but Trapani has two. And a shorthanded goal with eight seconds remaining. On the kill, 121 in the period. Dancing through four defenders, finding the back of the net. It's now six to two. Sachem looking to pull away yet again. They had a three goal lead earlier on the game, so it cut to two. As the draw is pushed forward, Haynes racing ahead. Hess gets a piece of it. Turn to five on five. The eye regrouping in neutral. Haynes curling towards center. Rutigliano with a poke check, but can't settle it. Friesem had it. Moved it over to Becker, who chipped it into the corner. Under a minute remaining. The eye trails by four. Comes out to the point. Friesem back into the corner for Becker. Looking to get to work on the cycle, but it ends up with Loeb. Looking at up ice. Finds Rutigliano just a little bit beyond his outstretched reach. Got a piece of it. Friesen resetting. Sends it off the wall. Paladino intercepts. Moves it back ahead for Tigliano to the outside. Friesen pressuring. 30 seconds remaining. Trapani recollects. Sends it towards the front. It's deflected. Does not reach the net. And then it's recovered by Akroff ahead for Schlitt. Slipped by him. Now EI trying to force a turnover. Sachem looks to re-enter. Trapani batting that one into the zone. Now another turnover by EI. Rutigliano entering one-on-one. -on -one gets tripped up. It's going to be a call against the Chiefs as the period. 0.3 seconds on the clock. Looks like they're going to let the clock roll all the way to zero. We'll head to the start of the third period. EI trail 6-2. And after they made it a two-goal game, a costly penalty this time going against Schlitt. 
It sends Sachem to the power play as we approach the beginning of the third period. Jack Siskin with you on the Long Island Sports Network. Paul Trentini on camera. Thank you so much for tuning in for tonight's contest. Roman Cruz has four. Will Trapani has two for Sachem. Trapani's first goal assisted by Simone and Portanova. Portanova actually has two assists in this game. Total Trapani, one assist, two goals in the contest. Two one assisted goals for Sachem. Courtesy of Cruz and Trapani. And only four players have found the back of the net in this game. Jordan Haynes from Landon Musumeci for EI after they fell down 3-0. And Dylan Schlitt from Liam Becker and Andrew Firth after they fell down 4-1. Again, Cruz scored two goals in a span of 17 seconds. He completed the natural hat trick in a span of four minutes. His fourth, and at this time, final goal comes, rather, ended up coming with 33 seconds remaining in the first. Will Trapani's late goal just over a minute remaining. And then the penalty drawn by Ritigliano. Also coming at the end of the period as time expired. And as you saw the shot total at the bottom of your screen, 26 15 in favor of Sachem. They had 12 in the second period. EI had five. Oh, correction, my boss. EI had five in the first. They had 10 in the second. We are tracking shots for this game. These are not official SCHSHL scoring statistics. The league no longer tracks shots. A big clear for EI, 14-37 remaining in the period. Sachem still looking for his own exit. Pass off the wall. Cruz trying to beat out the icing, and he gets it as it reaches the goal line. Sent towards the slot. Officials deeming to be a complete play. So there was no icing against the eye, but as Palladino resets beneath his own goal line, resets the Horman under pressure. Sachem moving right to left. This period EI moving left to right as Horman enters, pulls up, fires off the back of the net. Simone across, a shot from Trapani, he fanned on it. Turnover forced by Cruz to Simone. Sets up shop in Gretzky's office, lost possession. Comes towards Fontaine, Trapani muscles his way through. Moves it back across to Cruz. A turnover is forced by EI, a nice defensive play there for Leighton Veith. Ends up moving it ahead. They got the clear. Now a turnover by Fontaine. It's sent on net, ricocheting off the stick of a defender. The first shot of the new period almost banked in off the defender. And a key stop for Volante. 14 saves on 26 shots thus far. Uh, and with 18 seconds remaining on the power play, this penalty will expire at the 13 minute mark, barring a stage and goal. Draw came to the right of Volante. Ends up pinned in the corner. Sachem looking for a clear. They can't maintain possession. A shot from the point ends up careening off the end boards. Mineta collects it. Moved it ahead for Hess. Wants a drop pass, can't find it. Play returns to even strike. A collision in neutral, no arms in the air. We play on. Collision on the half wall, I should say. Now a turnover, EI ahead, coming out, it's Volante. And he paddles it out of the zone. A big play by the Sachem netminder. And EI back in transition. This game has opened up a lot of turnovers, not a lot of crisp puck movement as we saw from Sachem earlier on. In short, it just looks like a normal hockey game and not a master class by Sachem as Mitchell's shot is turned aside by Sasso. Mineta towards the slot, looking for a shot. Wrestles through two defenders, sends it towards the front, and it's stopped once again by Sasso. And 
We were talking about it in the first period. It's a major storyline stage him forcing the eye to make a difficult decision, change the goaltender, pulling Travis Martin, who in his defense, you really couldn't have asked him to do much on those shots, but EI bench elected to try and change the momentum by changing their net miter. To an extent, it's worked, but they still trail by four. 12 minutes remaining in the final frame. EI needs to find the back of the net and do it quickly if they want to come back in game one. It's a three-game series, but you don't want to find yourself facing elimination. It's difficult to win two games in a row at this level. Both teams trading possessions in neutral as Foreman's shot is paddled aside. And Sasso, who entered the game late, has 20 saves on 23 shots against. Sagem currently resetting. Trapani, one short of the hat trick, flips it into the zone, and Sasso holds it. Ends up nearly covering it a turnover after it was mishandled by the defense. A shot on net that was turned aside. The 30th shot on goal for Sachem EI. A delayed penalty. Racing up ice, Musamechi. A blown tire giving him a chance to create an odd man rush. Enters, backhands it across. Nearly goes off Mitchell and into the goal, but Sachem defender got in front of it. Gained possession, and as EI gets set for a power play, Sachem heading to the man advantage, and we're looking to see who the call is going against as no player in the box yet. It's going to be Dylan Simone. A chance for EI to pull back within three. The call on the ice going against Simone. Waiting on word from the official scores booth. Call on the ice is for roughing. The draw is won by EI. Veith sending it right to Jack Mitchell, who has a glove down. Fontaine holding it in. Officials deem the play on. Looks like they deemed it offsides and forced to reset. Fontaine shipping it back in. On the four check again, it comes out again and just ping-ponging it back and forth. Another stop at the line by Mitchell. His pass is deflected. Sasso comes out. Rutigliano gets in front of it. A chance. A shot. He scores. A short-handed goal, the second of the game for Sachem. As Ryan Rutigliano just sends it into the yawning cage and forcing the turnover after the netminder Sasso came out to play it. It's 7-2. East Islip. Stunned. Uh, another costly turnover, this time by their netminder, who was forced to come out and play it. And Cruz trying to fire that one down. Friendly fire blocked there. I think it went off Portanova, who now heads to the bench, a bit shaken up. But as a shot from Lemaire is gobbled up by Volante. EI looks to get back to work. On the power play. 117 remaining on the man advantage. Dylan's Simone in the box. Looks like Sasso is heading back to the bench. They've put Martin in. Happened behind the play, reason being unclear. It looks like EI will now reset. So as Horman gets a DDD, fires in, it ricochets off Lamar and it rolls to Martin, who will hold it. A bit of a surprise there as Travis Martin re enters this game. off is one back by EI against Sachem. Currently on the kill, but maintained possession, killing off some valuable time there, but a pass ahead for Becker. Rolls past him, icing waved off. 
beneath the goal line against Horman. Backhanded it towards the slot. Will Trapani collects, fires it all the way down. Martin comes out to play it, leaves it in the corner. Now looking to reset. Lamar ahead, slips past Becker. Horman fires it back in, delayed off sides as Cruz checks up. Pushing it ahead, it's Robert Harrison. A turnover now, Cruz carrying towards center. Rolling puck, it's recollected, drags, pulls up, still battling for it. Can't muscle his way through, can't muscle his way free that time. Tigliano now resetting to his defense. Play is returned to even strength. Trapani with possession, moving it ahead. Chip pass, Gonzalez by Hess. Fryzum rescues it. Trapani recollects it. Banking it off the weak side wall. It comes right to Becker. Curls, moves it to Firth, drags, drags again. It's poked free the second time. Becker towards the front, a chance in front. It's turned aside by Valanti. The Chiefs can't settle it for a rebound opportunity. Horman sending it up to the point. Gonzalez sends it right back. Tigliano gloves it down. Ahead. Minetta. Shot. Deflected. Goes wide of the cage. Picked up by Fontaine, who carries it towards the center in his own zone. Ends up moving back towards the wall before flying it ahead. A chance now for Bradley. Shot. Scores! Four down! And Ryan Bradley gives the either third of the game with 7.49 remaining. It's a beautiful lead pass. Ryan Bradley able to manipulate the defender there for a couple deeks and an absolute rocket of a shot that finds the back of the net. Draws one forward by Fontaine. Mitchell breaks up the play and Roman Cruz heads the other way. He's got four, can he make it five? Pulls up, drops it off, shot turned aside, rebound, another stop from Martin. Two big saves for the EI netminder. And a whistle here and a penalty. Since returning to the crease, Martin's faced about four shots. There are 35 shots total for Sachem. But they're heading to the power play now. Fontaine to the box. Draw is one back by EI. They get a clear. Fontaine called for roughing that time. Cruz coming in, drags, pulls up, fire, scores! Who else but Roman Cruz, his fifth of the game. You can see him counting that one out right now. As he danced by the EI bench. It's an 8-3 game, and Roman Cruz, quite literally, is the difference maker. One forward off the draw by E.I. but it's recovered. Ild trying to move it ahead. Beneath the goal line, E.I. off the zone entry. Came to the slot, Ild to Cruz. Gets it out of the zone, lost possession. Sachem content to reset. Off the wall to Krush, hands it off to Simone. Across the red line, fires in from outside the zone. Another turnover this time forced by Simone. Horman ahead. 
And it rolls past the stick of Veef, deflected partially. Sachem goes for the almost wholesale change. Simone staying out. Intercepts a pass there from Veef. Drags towards the slot. Held up for a moment, but breaks free. Sends it back towards the doorstep. A turnover now as it was deflected. Pushed ahead, but Cole Calber rescues it. Under pressure from Schlitt. Circles his own net. EI forcing it free. It comes to Firth. Poked away. Back to the point. Gonzalez can't get a shot on goal. Was blocked by Portanova. To Perry sends it ahead and it ends up with Lemaire. EI defender backhanding it towards center. He's all the way out towards Palladino. And now Simone re enters. The outside shot off the pipe. Gets it back in the corner. A beautiful cross ice pass to point. Cole Calber, a shot turned aside. It's loose in front. Battle for possession. And it's gobbled up. Two quick shots. And some commotion in the slot. No arms up currently. 5-11 remaining. In the third period. Shots on goal, 39 to 19 in favor of Sachem. They've doubled up EI. A little more than that, actually. The faceoff comes outside, the scrum on the doorstep. Defenders coming in from the points, if I'm not mistaken, that would send the faceoff outside. Draws one back by EI, barring a miraculous comeback. Five goals in five minutes. Sachem will come away with game one, and EI will be facing elimination. Bruce under pressure from Becker. Forcing a turnover after he carried it into slot. A shot saved by Valenti. Another turnover. Sachem settling it. Trapani dishes ahead as a sea of black and red sweaters descended on him. Back up the wall. Trauma. Backhands it in. Trapani on the forecheck. Tying up Gonzalez. It comes right back out of the zone. Mitchell chips it right back in. Mitchell's older brother, Wally, played for Sachem at the varsity level as well. Jack appears poised to do the same, and as Trapani enters, loses it, trying to dangle through the defense. Loeb on the forecheck, Trapani supporting, but EI will get the clear as it comes towards Kearney. Lost possession on the zone entry, it's offsides. 4.07 remaining in the period. They saw off as one back by EI. They look to reset off the wall. Robert Harrison goes by Chase, moving it ahead for Kearney. A turnover, poke check by Chase Harrison, but it comes to Cole Calber who recovers, moving it cross ice. Kearney ahead for Musumeci. Calber. It's anticipating that one perfectly, entering the zone shielding. It's poked away. Musumeci now tied up, but comes away with it. Towards the slot, Mineta gets his body in front of it. Pulls up again. Poked away by Chase Harrison. Back into the corner. 3.20 remaining in the period. And as the clock winds down, time runs out. EI appears to be facing elimination. Sachem appears to be one game away from a ship. Damien to Becker. Not ready to call it quits yet. Chip and chase. Damien against Palladino. Blew a tire in the corner. Simone recollects. A turnover, a shot, a goal! Jack Fontaine makes it a four goal game. And Fontaine knows how to put the biscuit in the basket. That's his fifth of this postseason. After being on fire in the regular season. Sachem sitting back. It's a little bit like a prevent defense, but you can fall into bad habits when you're not forechecking, when you're not getting the work on the cycle. That's what happens here. Sachem just lazily moving the puck in their own zone. And Good job by EI on the forecheck, not ready to call it quits. 
Fontaine dumping it in. On the chase, it's Bradley. Sagem picking up the pace now, but his Becker shot is deflected. Simone looking ahead. Wants Rutigliano, doesn't have an angle, so he'll enter the zone. Shielding, pulls up, fires, turned aside, and a whistle. And an offensive zone draw for Sachem. 2-12 remaining now in the period. LISN shot count reads 40 for Sachem, 21 for EI. Again, not an official statistic. The SCHSHL does not track shots due to, well, for lack of a better term, numerous complaints of inaccuracy. So now we don't get a shot count officially. And we just do our best to keep track of it when possible. Fries him ahead. EI enters the zone, but not cleanly. And it's so important to have clear possession of the puck off a of zone entry. But as Sachin recovers it, sent into the zone and dropped down. Now look for EI to reset. Bradley beneath the goal line. Fryzum collects on the near side, trying to move it ahead to Haynes, who's partially handcuffed, just not enough space there to pick up any speed. And now Veith will have to reset under pressure from Patrick Loeb, his older brother Scott entering his senior season. Next fall for Sachem, he's a netminder. Haynes getting the zone exit, Bradley enters. Mitchell on the back check after being beat at the line, forcing a turnover. EI re recollecting, and as we hit the one minute mark, Veith crosses the red line to the outside, pulls up, fires, shot is turned aside by Valanti. Sachem has recovered possession, trauma looking up ice, pushing, enters the zone, lost it. Bradley recollects. Tied up with Calber, Fontaine pushed ahead, but Sachem recovers, chips it back into the zone. Cole's older brother, George's oldest brother, was a defender for Sachem. His middle two brothers, Cameron and Colin, both defensemen, or both forwards rather. Fontaine entering, drags, pulls up, fires, doesn't reach the net. 17 seconds remaining, Simone with possession. Flipping it ahead. Off the skate of Lemaire, who tried to move it D to D. Puck does not leave the zone. It's held in along the line. A good keep for Sageman with the clock winding down. And now expiring. The first game of this series goes to Sachem. They are now one win away from becoming the SCHSHO freshman champions. An exciting moment for them, Shirley, and for EI. They will enter. Game two is the home squad. Again, a best of three series. Sachem entering this contest as the one seed. They sure look like it tonight. And the story was Roman Cruz. Five goals. A natural hat trick in the first period. Coming in a span of just four minutes. And EI falls eight to four. You've been watching SCH, SCHSHL. Freshman action on the Long Island Sports Network, your home for high school hockey here in Suffolk and Nassau County. Don't forget to follow the Adelaide Sports Network on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We're going to be right back here tomorrow for game two. Puck drop for that one. As my apologies. Actually trying to find that one. <laughs> Again, we're going back to paper tomorrow. But that game on March 16th. Puck drop set for 6.30 here at the rinks in Hot Puck, New York. Once again, Jack Ziskin on the call for Long Island Sports Network. Paul Trentini on camera. And we'll be right back here tomorrow night for game two of the SCHSHL Freshman Finals.